So we're going through exercise 5b and in this video I'm going to be answering question 2b which asks us to state the domain and range for the relations represented by each of the following graphs. So here is our relation and we need to figure out my domain and range. We know that my domain is going to be my set of all possible x values. So you could immediately look at this and say all right my x values are going to be from negative 2 all the way to 2. So I could grab my pen and come here and write negative 2 to 2. In the last video we used this line to make this a little bit clearer. So I could drag this line across my relation and say I'm not touching it yet, I'm not touching it yet, I'm not touching it yet. And then here is the very first time I touch it. And this is going to be the spot x equals negative 2. So x equals negative 2 is the first time I touch my relation and then I'm sweeping it over my relation so I'm touching it all here and the last place that I touch it is going to be x equals 2. So therefore it spans x, <laughs> it spans x equals negative 2 and 2. Hopefully that makes sense for my domain. My range is the set of all the possible y values and hopefully you can see that it begins at negative 2 and goes all the way up to 2. So again I would grab my pen and I would write in oops, negative 2, 2. And we could once again use this time a horizontal line to prove this. So here I'm not touching the line and the first time I touch my relation is going to be y equals negative 2 and then I sweep it all the way up and the last place I touch it is y equals 2. So therefore my range is negative 2 to 2. Hopefully this video cleared up any confusion you've had about domain and range and now you're able to answer 2b.